Zolu Yuane. So um, our study tonight uh, will be an introduction, but you'll see a mata lia lia olitato study ile mata ile tusi lia Zolu le Yuane. So today we will be looking at um, uh, the book of or the third letter of the Apostle John uh, in this sort of series of letters that he writes towards the end of his life. Be your tusia nate tusia. Ile fai uliu ole soifua ole pole olanga ole tangata ni nipole apostolo o Yohani. Um, o o o tusi umai tolu ah se ifa matala tula le tato le se sina oto otonga o mata o tusi elua yewa mavai atu ah. So I'm just gonna give you a bit of like a, a an executive summary of the first two letters, and it sort of sets us up for the third letter. Does that make sense? Ona la ole 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 mafu anga na vatu ele fa afisili mua mua o tu si umma ya tolu ayoane ole autu pole upu autu ole mea moni ha a manatua le le mo le tu si a toa la vale mua mua le yoane ia iloa ia a oa onga fa avai a mata upu fa avai ita tau ona fa avai le olanga ole tangata uata ua ole kerisiano. Imata upufa avai pole upu moni. A nae au mayai ile mata upu mua mua, ole yoane mua mua. Fa mai ole mea sa yai talu le amatanga, na mato fa alungu longo iai, na mato va aba ayatu iai o mato mata, na mato mata mata iai, na tango tango fo iyo mato lima, iya le lo kou ole ola. Ole fa avai ato ole mea moni, so when we look at the summary, um, starting from the first letter of John, uh, the first letter of John was based around a series of tests. Um, so you, if you draw your mind back to the first letter of John, it was a series of tests and they were broken into two parts. The first part was the doctrinal truths. What are the true foundational teachings of Christianity. And the first foundational truth was found in the doctrine of Jesus Christ, ah, the teachings about the person of Jesus Christ. So um, are you there at First John 1? If you can read verse 1, please follow for us. First John 1 verse 1. Yep. First John 1 verse 1, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled concerning the word of life. So that the first doctrinal truth um, that John gives us is that foundational to our Christian living is the fact we need to understand what are the teachings of Jesus Christ. So we now know that one of the core teachings about Jesus Christ is that he came in the flesh. Ah. Manatua le awa onga fa tsalu ya Yesu Kristo ole si um to foto fonga na tato va aya ole ole fa avai po mata upu fa avai fa tsatsau ile ilo le le ole anga sala ah na la ma we fa ipo e ba ma fa ipo se fulu aya fa tato te fa ali a tato wa sala e fa ma oni o ia maleami o tonu e fa ma nga lo aya tato wa sala ma fa ma 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 ya tato ya mi o le tonu u malaba they are fight at the fire, at the lei amasala, or at the fire, or ia ma pepelo, e le o itzomu ya te itato lana afiyonga. So manatua o leisi mata upu fa avai o le o lana kerisiano e fa tatau ile ilo le lei o le amasala. That another foundational doctrine that we uh, came to learn in the book of John is that we need to understand the biblical view of sin. So we saw that in verse 9 and verse 10, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. So there was even a biblical view of sin. So there were some foundational truths that John had presented in his first epistle. O lei si fo i vai nga na tato mata mata i le tu si o mua mua le yoane. Tato te va ai ai vai nga i a lena tato tala tala noa i le afiafi le nei a. 
o le usi usi tai mane nga wai le upo le tua o le alofa ile tasi ile tasi fe alofani o le um o le va aia o le olanga e tupu tupu ile fa a o la tanga mana tu o le olanga ke wisiano e fa mau nia pe a fai o ia ile le va aina le wa a mata ona matua fa ale nanga so there was another test that we see in the in the first letter is that we see um tests around your obedience to the word very similar to what James says uh how do you respond to God's word there's an obedience to the word there's um around loving each other uh there's around growing in spiritual maturity that was another test for a genuine believer that John brings um there was another test around not loving the world remember in 1 John chapter 2 there's the lust um there's the lust of the flesh lust of the eyes and the pride of life and so that's lo- not christians do not love the world and so if you look at 1 John chapter 5 um it summarizes or is the main point of the first letter Um, if anyone has that first john 5 verse 20 oli mane pe fa tsa mo fa ipuna pa mo 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 yo ne li pa fa ipu luo su mo fa ye tsa wa fa ye le le tu si mo mo ah thanks oli mo mo yo ne li mo ipu luo su mo wa ta to wi luo fo i wa ma li o mai ya lo le tu wa wa ye fo ina mai fo i le ma fa fa ya ti ta to ina ye ta to wi luo ai le mo mo lo mo ni o ye fo i ta to i lo mo ni o i lo na lo o ye su ke bi so o le ne i lava le a tu mo ni ma i so i fo i fa ba ba um next can you read that for us please first john 5 verse 20 and we know that the son of god has come and has given us an understanding that we may know him who is true and we are in him who is true and his son jesus christ This is the true God and eternal life. Yeah, we go. Ah, that almost summarizes our opening icebreaker, right? That Jesus Christ is the truth, that God is truth and in truth there is eternal life. So be of a upulena, be it our fa'ie manatu ole to see more more. We come into the focus of the second epistle. So everyone that's still fresh in our minds because that was the study that we've just recently finished. But here we also see the theme of truth. Okay, so this uh, this letter was addressed to the elect lady um, and her children. Faipu mo mo ama faipu elua ta to te va aye o le tu si le a yoane na tu si a le tama ita i fil filia. So le la wata tu anga i le le lua le yoane a ta to te va aye fo i la i o lo o yai pe a le fa mama fa i le mea moni. So um so rek- o le mea moni la o le mafua anga o na fa mai le fa i pe fitu a wa e to o tele e fa se se u o watu ile la lo langi o ele ta o tino wa mali o mai e su ke riso ile tino o le fa se se la va le male aneti ke riso so the second epistle the reason why the focus was on truth is highlighted in verse 7 For many deceivers have gone out into the world who do not confess Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. This is the deceiver and the antichrist. So we know that the second epistle was written to a specific uh person. She is not named, but she is referred to as an elect lady and her children. So John writes to uh, a gen- a general letter in 1 John. He comes to the second letter and he writes to a family. Uh, So I may tell you to see your name or le mo mo le ane or to see i tangata la hotele po tangata fa tu tu la hotele ina ia i loa le mea moni o fa avai mata upu fa avai le mea moni o mata upu fa tata wi le awala e o lai ba so fu ile tangata ta lu o mai le tu si lo na lua o lo tu si ile tama ita e fil filia ma na tama ha lo no wi na le wa nga ila na tu si ise ai na I le suwi a au tu a ai se a o le mea moni lava o fa avai i ai le tu si a yoane na la ta to te mawai tu si mo mua tu si lona lua o lona au tu po lona fa avai manatu au tu o le mea moni ah so we look at first john we look at second john and the 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 truth is the consistent 
seen understanding truth how do we authenticate that we are genuine christians how do we know to be hospitable in a in an appropriate manner because we need to be solid and based on the truth hey hey sis hey tobias <laughs> cool malo, malo. so we so we get there and um so we've just given you sort of like a synopsis or a summary of first john second john because when we come into third john third john is where we see that john's message about truth doesn't change we're going to read through the whole book of Third John, uh, those 14 verses, uh, and then we will uh, sort of take a sort of a, a deeper dive into the first four verses for today as the first part of our study. Tato feita me fa per fa sa moa ia o la tu si le ne ia kai o le pele o le o te alofa fa ama o ni ia le pele ia e manuia i me a uma ma ia e manulo fa pei o na manuia o lo banga a wa o te le lava lo o fia fia ina ua o mai le a uso. Ma fa ai loa mai lo fa amau ina ua e savali ile upumoni ele ai sofia fia e sili ile ne pea o fa alomo ua savavali la fa nau ile upumoni le pele ua e fa amau ni lava ime a uma o faia e oe ile a uso a toa mata mata esi oe ua fa ai loa mai lo ua lofa iluma ole e kanesia. A fai i te whiso soani i lō lātou mō linga e tusa i le atua. E le lei la o mea e fai. A wā na lātou mō atu ona o lona suafa. E le i talia sina mea mai nu u esi. O lea e ta tāwai ona tātou talia tangata whaapea. I na ia tātou fai ma whiso soani i le upumoni. Na o tusi atu i le e kānesia. A o ti o te e rifi, o le e fia sili a te i lātou, e le e talia i mātou e ia. O le mea lea, pe a au anu atu, o te whaamana tuai lana a mio o lo o faia e ia. O lo o tuā upua mai ia i mātou i upu leanga, e le e ngā ta whoi i ia mea, a e le e talia lava e ia le a uso. E vavao atu whoi i e loto i ai, na te whaatea e si, la tō ile e kāne e si ai. Le pele, aua e te whaa o ao i le leana, na o le le lei. O le a mi o le lei, mai le a tua lava lea. Pei tai o le a mi o leana, e le i loa atu lava e ia le a tua. Ua longo le lea te me tiu e tangata o malaba, a toa male upu moni lava. O i maa tau whoi maa tau te moni mau i ai, ua o tau i loa whoi e moni la maa tau mau. Wai a te a o mea e tele e tusi atu ai, a o te lefi a tusi atu i a te oe ileva i tusi male fulu tusi. A wā o te whaa moe moe o le a wawe whainoa i tā ua i nga ia tā te tau tala tala ai. Ia ia te oe le manui o lo o alo lo whaa atu le au mea mai i a te oe ua o a lo whaa i le au mea mea mai uma lama. Thank you for reading in Psalm 1. So we've just read that whole chapter wo tato whaita wina le tusi a toa um, a e faita wina le a o e faita wina le tusi o le tusi le a yoane tato teva ayai o i o lo o tusi a yoane ile tangata fa apitoa a o lo o fa apitoa la na tusi ile tangata e moa ya kaiyo. That when we look at um the book of Third John, this is where John and the apostle 
um, gets very personal because this is the first of the three letters where he actually articulates people's names. Ah, so the person in, to whom he's writing this letter is a person or that he calls a beloved by the name of Gaius. O le tangata leo le otusi ya ile tusi o le tangata e ngoa ya kayo. So if you look at the context of his three epistles, his three letters, the first one was to general believers, and in that letter he doesn't name anybody. The second letter it's to a family. Ah, so it's almost like he's funneling down. And now he's addressing a family. But he doesn't address anybody by name. In his final letter, he's actually writing to an individual. So we see that uh, this letter, in the context of this letter, this letter is very, very personal. So the opening line, it says, the elder. So remember, John is one of those authors that always refers to himself in the third person. Uh, he never names himself. We see that in his gospel, he always names himself as um, the one whom Jesus loved. So it shows his humility side as well that he would never want to highlight himself. Ah. But he always refers to himself. And in his epistles, he always refers to himself as the elder. That's it. Ah, that's the title that he gives himself. And these letters are written in the latter days of the apostles. Of the apostle. So, ole or to see there, or to see a ua o ionatel sanga ua toya inai. So, you can tell by the, the phrase that he uses that he is the elder. Ah, so. And specifically, he writes to a person by the name of Gaius. So it says, the elder to the beloved Gaius. So when we look at the word, uh, that word that he uses there, uh, beloved, uh, it's to define someone that is esteemed, uh, someone who is a favorite, uh, or someone worthy of love. If you remember the words that God the Father uses in Matthew 17, uh, verse 5, where um, Jesus, uh, that is the amount of uh, transfiguration, uh, and um, the Lord, uh, God speaks about his son, and he says, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. And so that's the same reference here, uh, the Greek word agapetos. Ia o to fa alomo ya teia pe yo le upu na o fa anga e yoane e fa matala ile ba ba na lata maleta natalia e ngoya kayo. So if you think about the relationship that the apostle has with this person or individual named Gaius, he uses that term agapetos. Uh, agapetos. Mm. And so that word is to be esteemed. The word means to be. Uh, to show favor or favorite, uh, the word means is worthy of love. So this letter is very, very personal in the way, in the fact that he's addressing it specifically to a named individual. However, <laughs> So 
a more ya tayo. I love the fact that um, in that first part of the verse it says, The elder to the beloved Gaius, whom I love in truth. So he loves this person, Gaius, in truth. Um, Fala, if you can read uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 18. Um, and I'll get Fala to read that first, please. First John chapter 3, verse 18. My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. La fana we, awa ne tato walo lo fatao ole upu male mutu, a ole a mio male faa maoni a. Um, another meaning of that phrase there, in whom I love in truth, is that what is true in any matter under consideration. Ah, so it's to love in truth. Second John verse 1, um, he also uses the same phrase to the lady elect. And he says uh, in chapter in John 2 verse 1, to the elect lady and her children, whom I love in truth. Truth. He goes on to say, so we now know who's writing the letter. It's the elder. It's John the Apostle. We now know that he's writing it to an individual. So it's this uh, person by the name of Gaius. Uh, and he loves him in truth. So now we know the letter is very personal. Another another uh, flag that we know that it's personal is that he also has two other people mentioned in this letter. Those two names are Diotrephus, Diotrephus and Demetrius. So he actually refers to another two people. And those two people we will continue to unpack as we go through the study. It's a long more fear lava or to see all or fat at all eat a matter. Now all yay for it a matter nay or tio terrifi, matimetu, ah, or lo yay moana itotomu or let you see lene. So we go on to read verse one and it says, uh, the elder uh, to the beloved Gaius, whom I love in truth. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as you just as your soul prospers. So when we think about this letter, the fact that it is uh, very personal, um, he goes on to say, uh, refer to him in these three things. So he says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things. Uh, two, he says, and be in health. Three, and it says, just as your soul prospers. If we break down those three things, uh, this is how we know it's a personal letter because he says, first of all, I pray that you may prosper in all things. When you consider the fact that to be prosperous, he's praying a blessing and favor on this individual. Second of all, he says to be in health. Otherwise, uh, in other words, it's to be sound or to be well. So not only does he wish this, does he pray for this? He says there, beloved, I pray that you may prosper, but also to be well and be in good health. And then third, he says that your soul prospers. So this personal intimate greeting to this person, Gaius, comes with a whole lot of blessing. Huh? Mm -hmm. So, ole, ole ba ba la lata le na. that's how personal this letter is. Uh, 
Anganga. If we can look at uh, First Thessalonians as uh, just a reference uh, for this type of blessing from uh, an apostle to an individual, and we read it also in the book of Thessalonians, First Thessalonians chapter two, uh, verse through thirteen and fourteen. Mumbolet salonia mtafu lua fe ku sful male tolu male fe ku e se fulu male fa amor fa sa amor ta to fe tau bi ya me me ma tu ta ya ye tua o no ma tu la wa e le amor o wa na ta die o tu ya ye ma ye su no <laughs> A wa oto fo in a tina ina oto ia lava mea, it's a matter o lo oto lava nu, fa pe on a tina ina o ita to fo ia ia ita ia. If we can read that, please, fella, in English. 13 and 14. Chapter 1. Ah, uh, chapter 2. Sorry. First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13 and 14. For this reason we also thank God without ceasing. Because when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you welcomed it, and not as the word of men, but as, as it is in truth, the word of God, which also effectively works in you who believe. For you, brethren, became imitators of the churches of God, which are in Judea, in Christ Jesus. For you also suffered the same things from your own countrymen, just as they did from the Judeans. So we see here the heart of Paul thanking these brethren in Thessalonica with regards to their receiving of the truth. Ah, so the heart of John to Gaius, very similar to the heart of Paul to these other brethren in Thessalonica. So that's the, I guess that gives us a, um, the heart of uh, between a father in the faith and his children in the faith. Ah, be you leata le al mai i, um, o leata to ba vai fo ila le fai pu etolu. Be you leata o le fia fia o le apostolo, po o le tama fa ale anana, ilana fa nau fa ale anana. So we move into verse three and four. Verse three and four reads like this: For I rejoiced greatly when brethren came and testified of the truth that is in you. Just as you walk in truth, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. So this is, we're going to look at um, John's joy. Ah. So first we see that it's a personal letter. In verse 3 and 4, we're going to see that it's his joy. This is the explanation that he gives. Ina ua o maile au so ma fae loa maile o faa maoni ina ua e savali ile upumoni atato vaba ai a sa ua ua o atu le moni mau ile faa maoni o le tangata le nei o kaiu. If we look at um, this person Gaius, a report has reached John the Apostle about this person's life. And that's a that's an encouragement for us, huh? an encouragement that our lives become uh, a testimony, a, a witness, and a witness of good things with regards to the Lord. So there's um the word that's used there. He says awa wa tele lava lo fia fia. Ole fa matala ino le upu le a tu sa e ya le fia fia a a le upu le fa matala e le tu si yo ane uwa tele le u fia fia no no wina uwa le ma fai ona ma fai taudia le tele o le fia fia o le tangata le ne i le tala uwa fa alongo i a i le tangata e mo ya kai that when we look at the word um I rejoice and then it's got the word greatly. 
Um, and the Greek word, the original Greek word, the definition is that the joy is beyond measure. And I and I and I think from a pastoral hat, like my pastoral hat on, that is always going to be our joy as your pastors. Hey, eh? that when we hear of the brethren and the family of faith walking in faith, that's that joy is unexplainable. Um, it's beyond measure for us. And I imagine that's what John is responding to uh to this individual named Gaius that the report has come and the report says that the brethren have come and they've testified of the truth that is in you. Gaius is such a blessing, ah uh. well Gaius is gonna be a blessing over our studies in the next couple of days. Um and in Romans chapter one verse eight and nine I might get Nessa to look at that for us please Romans one 8 and 9, and Aggie, if we can get you to look at Ephesians 1, verse 15 and 16. And here we're going to look at, uh, and these are both Paul's uh, uh, descriptions of his joy of the brethren. E mua mua ona o fa'afeta yatu i lo uatua ya Yesu Keriso, ona o o tau uma, i na uata ua lo o tau fa'atuatua i le lalo langi. A wā ua sila fia mai e le atua, o ia o te au auna i ai i lo uanganga, i le tala le lei i lo na alo, e le au noa ona o tau tau ua o tau. Ma nai e i le fa'afeta i le a'a. Nessa, we can get you to read Romans 1, please. Romans 1, verses 8 to 9. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all, that your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of the Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers. Amen. That's a beautiful um, thankfulness of uh, a shepherd about the faith of the believers. Um, uh, ili e feso lo nam ta upu mua mua, fa mai upu a uh, Paulo ili e kalesia lea. U au fa a longo longo i lo o to fa atua tua ili e rio Yesu. Ma lo o to wa lo fa ili au pa ia umalaba, o le mea lea, o te le mapu wai ili fa afetai, ona o o to, o ta uta ua o to, i a u ta talu. Uh, Egi, I'll get you to read English, please. Ephesians 1, 15 and 16. Therefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, do not cease to give thanks for you, that you mention that you are not great. So what we see here is the rejoicing of the apostles, the rejoicing of the apostle John, the rejoicing of Paul, um, and in our days, it's the rejoicing of the report of the believers continually to walk in faith and i think that's an encouragement for us uh, a reminder for us that our lives uh, that we are a light that we are um that light that is placed on top of a hill and we are a testimony to the world with regards to the things of the lord so Ina ua o maile au, so ma whaelo a maile o whaamao ni ina ua e savali ile upumoni. Ah, manatua le savali lea o le o langa o le tangata. Remember, if we look at uh, the end of verse 3 and it says, um, John regarding Gaius, for I rejoice greatly when brethren came and testified of the truth that is in you, just as you walk in truth. And that was our tinas. Uh, description of truth today is the fact that you walk in it, uh, that you live out that truth. That truth is not just something that you take in, it's not just head knowledge, but it's the fact that you are obedient. That's our response to God's word. So uh, Gaius's life is a, is a testimony for us as we read. And then it says in verse 4, um, 
I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. So this is John's greatest achievement, if you like. Ah, his greatest joy is hearing that his children, he re refers to Gaius as his children. He says, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. So remembering that walking in truth, this personal letter to a specific person, and yet the apostle is still encouraging him to walk in truth. How to conduct your life, how to progress your life with regards to the truth. Ah, so all the tattoo wall langa ah to a lava in my fight on the famatalaina ah be a fight at all teola ile upu moni. So to end off our study today, I'm going to end off with um Psalms 26. If we all turn our Bibles to Psalms 26, and we will read the psalm as a way to wrap up our study today. Salamo luas fulmaleono feipu mua mua lua. So these are the words of Psalm that talks about walking in truth. So to wrap up our, uh, to conclude our first four verses today, our introduction uh, to this uh, to the study of Third John. Uh, we look at this final verse from John and it says, uh, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. So Psalms 26, verse 1 to 3. Uh, in Psalm 1, Iya, 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 Elema beva o vai, yo vai, ye e su e su e yatia, matofo tofo yatia, ye e fa a mama yo manatu, malo uloto, awa o lo o yo uluma lo walofa, wo o savadi fo e ile me a moni mai yatia. Oi, e me fe putolu awa lo o yo uluma lo walofa. Wo o savali fo e ile me a moni mai yati oi. In English, uh, Psalms 26, verse 1 to 3. I might get Fala to read our last few verses, please. Yeah. Psalm 26, verses 1 to 3. Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. I have also trusted in the Lord. I shall not slip. Examine me, O Lord, and know my ways. Prove me and test me. Know my thoughts and plans. 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 Try my mind and my heart, mm. for your loving kindness is before my eyes, and I have walked in your truth. Praise the Lord. So in summary today, um, that psalm sort of wraps wraps all of the, the thoughts today uh, with regards to walking in truth. Um, but those four verses that we started off with today, it's we see that the letter is a personal letter, because now in his third epistle, he addresses um, an individual and his new name is Gaius and we see that he is a great person of faith um, we also see Gaius and his way of life and that his testimony um, to those who saw his life was the fact that he continued to walk in truth so that's our study for tonight um, an introduction to the third uh, book of John or the third epistle of John uh, but I also wanted us to sort of have a look at the beginning introduction to this person of, uh, whose name is Gaius. And we will use the second part um, of our study, uh, verses 5 through to verse 8, in looking at the life of this person, Gaius, before we head into Diotrephus, Diotrephus and Demetrius. So those are the other two. Okay, so those are the three, the four characters actually. So we've got Apostle John and the three people that he actually names uh, in, the, in the book. So praise the Lord for God's word tonight. Um, so praise the Lord. Uh, we'll finish off our time of study uh, in a word of prayer. 
Uh, and I'll ask Tama to finish off our, our word of prayer and then we will have a time of QA or any comments at the end. You have your ear to Say that Tama. Thank you, Jesus.
Yeah, it's 